Welcome back now to the war in Ukraine. Russian officials say they shot down a cruise missile near the city of Kerch, suspending traffic on a bridge that links the annexed territory to Russia. Officials say the interception did not result in any damage or casualties. This news coming as the Ukrainian president is asking to join NATO. President Biden is meeting with leaders in Great Britain this morning where Russia and Ukraine are expected to dominate the conversation, as you can imagine. Amy Liu live in our Washington bureau and Amy, Talk a little bit about some of the president's goals for this trip. Well, Aaron and Stephen, we know that President Biden just wrapped up his meeting with Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. He's currently meeting with King Charles and more European leaders as part of the administration's work to keep the U.S. both a top military and economic power. I couldn't be meeting with a closer friend and a greater ally. President Biden in the UK meeting with Prime Minister Sunak and later King Charles talking first clean energy before the war in Ukraine. As the Biden administration prepares to send cluster bombs to support Ukrainian forces, the president will face tough questions from allies and NATO members pouring in more military aid to win back Russian held territory. They either have the weapons to stop the Russians now from their keep them from stopping the Ukrainian offensive through these areas or uh, they don't. While Biden rallies to strengthen NATO and support Ukraine, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is wrapping up her high stakes trip to China. I feel confident that we will have more frequent and regular communication. Speaking with leaders to revive strained ties and balancing competition between both countries from the economy to the military. We're sending a message to authoritarian bullies everywhere that America is not neutral when it comes to trying to redraw borders through military aggression. Yeah, and Biden will be traveling to Lithuania today for a meeting with NATO members. They'll be welcoming their latest member, Finland, Stephen and Eric. And Amy, we've talked about Sweden also becoming a member of NATO. What's the status on that? Well, actually new this morning for us, Stephen, we learned that Turkey, the Turkey president right now is uh, actually open to allowing Sweden to join NATO as long as uh, Europeans, quote unquote, open the way for his country to join the European Union. That's after a meeting with the U.N. Secretary General, as well as a phone call with President Biden yesterday. Uh, keep in mind here, all NATO members have to unanimously agree for a country to join the alliance. And so far, Turkey, as well as Hungary, have really stalled Sweden. Sweden's membership. They have been accusing the country of being too lenient towards terrorist groups. Sweden has made some concessions, though. It's changed its constitution as well as passed a handful of anti-terrorism laws. And doing all of this, this would really boost security for those Eastern European countries, especially those that border Russia. Back to you. All right. Thank you so much. Amy Liu live in Washington for us this morning. Meanwhile,